Hello, in this video we're going to do some sports economics, looking at the model of a two-team sports league. There are only two teams in this league, a large market team and a small market team. The sum of each team's winning percentage must equal 100. They just, these two teams just play each other over and over again. And the teams will assume maximized profit. Team 1 has total revenue that is a function of its winning percentage. We'll specify specify this functional form. Team 1's total revenue equals the natural log of its winning percentage. If we take the derivative of Team 1's total revenue with respect to its winning percentage following the rules of derivatives of natural log functions, we just get 1 over Team 1's winning percentage. The marginal revenue here uh, can be interpreted as an increase in revenue from increasing the winning percentage by 1 percentage point. Team 2, the small market team, has total revenue that uh, is two-thirds times the natural log of its winning percentage. You'll notice here for any given winning percentage, Team 1 will have more revenue. Perhaps its fans have a higher willingness to pay. Maybe Team 1 operates in an area with more people, thus higher demand, and so on. Anyways, let's get marginal revenue for Team 2. Marginal revenue for Team 2 uh, will look like this following the rules of derivatives of natural log functions. In equilibrium, the marginal revenue of each team will be equal. If this wasn't the case, so for example, if the marginal revenue of Team 1 exceeds the marginal revenue of Team 2, Team 1 adds more revenue from an additional win than Team 2, so Team 1 will bid away talent from Team 2 until the marginal revenues are equal. Talent flows to its highest valued use. So setting that equilibrium condition up and substituting in now what our marginal revenues were from the first slide. And simplifying further, multiplying through by W subscript 1 and multiplying through by W subscript 2, we get this result. We'll note that Team 2's winning percentage is 100 minus Team 1's winning percentage. So making that substitution in over here on the left-hand side, simplifying further, gathering the W terms, Team 1 will win 60% of its games, Team 2 will win 1 minus Team 1's uh, winning percentage, or 40% of its games, and so that'll be our equilibrium winning percentages. And if we wanted to get marginal cost, in this model, marginal revenue of Team 1 equals the marginal revenue of Team 2, and it'll equal the marginal cost of the winning percentage, just substitute this 6 year 40 back into these equations here, and marginal cost will equal 1 over 60. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.